Is AI the answer to stopping illegal parking in 2024 going into 2025? Well, the city of San Francisco, California seems to think so, and they're implementing the technology to make it happen. Yeah, welcome back into the channel, parking fans. This one from KRON Channel 4 out of San Francisco, California, here in the United States, the Bay Area over on the West Coast of this country. They believe that AI technology could be the answer to stopping and discouraging people from illegally parking, and they're already implementing the technology, and it is pretty awesome. Check it out. And starting today, AI cameras are going to be used to target drivers illegally parked along AC transit lines in the East Bay. Yep, violators who are caught could get a hefty fine. We've got Crown Force Michael Thomas following the story for us live in Fremont. Michael. Hi, good morning, everyone. These AI-generated cameras are going to be mounted on the front of these buses on the windshield, essentially, and they're going to be replacing manual cameras that were there before. The goal is to really spot and pick out those vehicles that are parked illegally in the bus lanes. Take a look. This is video that we have of what these cameras will be seeing, and you can see they can detect just exactly when a vehicle is parked in the way, capture the plates, and timestamp a photo along with recording a 10-second video. Then eventually, they can send a ticket to the owner. But until October 7th, violators will only be receiving a warning. After that, those tickets could cost up to $110. Now, videos and photos will be destroyed of violations within 60 days of resolution. And any video of non-violators will be destroyed within 15 days. In total, 100 buses across Alameda Contra Costa transit lines will have these cameras today. And officials say they've been testing them since about June. And so far, they've captured 787 violations significantly more than the old system that only captured 22 violations in that time period. When it comes to the cost, well, the cameras will be essentially not paid for by AC Transit because a memo from 2023 shows that instead the tech company that the cameras were created by will receive a monthly revenue share of citation violations up to $2,500 per bus for a three-year period. Back out here live. Again, this does start today. You still have a little bit of time. If you do get one of those tickets, you won't have to pay. But when it comes to, um, you know, data and research right now, it shows that some of these buses with these cameras will be giving out at least 10 violations per day per bus. That's the very latest reporting live in the East Bay. I'm Michael Thomas. Starian James, I'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks a lot, Michael. Wow, so that's pretty cool. The taxpayer's not paying for it either. Uh, but the, the company that made those... Um, cameras can earn $2,500 per bus. So they only need to capture 25 to hit that number. Uh, that's pretty easy because it's $110. So they'll earn up to $2,500. And it said at the end, if you missed it, there are a hundred buses. So simple math, 10 buses tells us 25,000, hundred buses tells us $250,000, which means in one year, this company could earn three million dollars who knows a hundred buses two cameras each 200 cameras even you know at a hundred bucks a pop i mean what is that twenty thousand dollars i don't know somebody do the math they're gonna make plenty of profit what a smart job by them and out in california this could be a big big revenue um increaser and a big deter to people parking like that because if you just park like that and you show up and you go home and all of a sudden tickets start showing up in the mail guess what you're gonna stop doing you're gonna stop parking where you're not supposed to so Interesting there. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how that works out. The AI technology, do you think that it is effective or will be effective in stopping this? Do you think it's the right uh, approach? Do you think they should use it? Is it a bad idea? I will be fully transparent with you guys. I am not a fan of AI. I am not a fan of it becoming a buzzword that's used for everything. People Google stuff and find a picture on Google and go, AI showed me that picture. You Googled it. Like, it's just being overused and drug out as a buzzword marketing term to get people excited about stuff. It's not an AI technology. It's a camera that's filming cars and sending them tickets. It's not AI. It's not artificial intelligence. It's a camera. But that's the buzzword they use. So that's my personal feeling. I think it's a great idea, whatever you want to call it. I think filming people and sending them tickets is awesome. Uh, but don't call it AI. That's just dumb. Anyhow, uh, I'll wait to see what you guys say in the comment section. As always, I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching the channel. And if you could take two seconds, just two seconds, one second to hit that like button, turn that blue thumb there, big and blue, and help the YouTube algorithm. And one second to subscribe and come back and watch future videos. That would really mean a lot to me. As always, have a wonderful rest of your evening. And I'll see you guys next time.